Chad, I guess just what are your overall thoughts on the game, just the situation of, of struggling against Texas, coming into this one without one of your better players, and just the way the team performed in the opener? Yeah, I mean, I thought we played really well. I mean, when you, when you think about um, defensively, uh, you know, holding North Dakota State to, to 30% in the first half uh, from the field and, and then overall 33% shooting. We had a goal of trying to hold them to five threes or less. That was written on the board. It was talked about all week. So I thought we did a really good job defending the three. Um, you know, need to, need to get a lot better defending the star player and them to understand um, how – successful we've been over three years of defending uh, the other team's best player so um, area of concern uh, you know I thought Nelson in the second half got 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 going he's a really talented offensive player he's got an incredibly bright future um, and we couldn't we couldn't stop him in the second half and so we've got to do a better job of understanding when we play against a star to try to shrink the floor and dig a little bit better um, because I thought Nelson was, I mean, he was really, really good offensively for them. Is there any update to be had for, for Nick and his status here moving forward? No. Nope. I mean, we just, uh, you know, we'll get ready for the next game. And, and um, you know, that's, that's all we can do is, is continue to try to get better. Obviously, roles were really shuffled um, in a short amount of time. And, um, you know, we changed starting lineup this t even today. Um, all week we've gone with a completely different starting lineup. Um, two new guys basically in the starting lineup uh, at shoot around. So, um, you know, we uh, put Ricky in there at the last minute, and and, uh, and I think it really benefited us. Ask the players about this, but points in the paint, plus 20. You guys just attacking the rim. It looked like a replay of Europe. Can you talk a little bit about that as a strength for the team and moving forward with that? Yeah, and I, you know, I, I thought we had good shot selection too, Kevin. I didn't think that we forced shots. Um, you know, I told the, the team, like, really North Dakota State's defense is, is uh, you know, it's, it's, it's compact. It's, it's uh, you know, they don't cause a lot of turnovers. Um, you know, I mean, we even, I mean, you look at, like, how Las Vegas NHL team plays and, they're kind of the same way. It's like a prevent defense almost. And so we shouldn't have had 11 turnovers. They were at least nine of the 11 were self-inflicted, probably all 11. Um, but I thought we did a really good job of uh, – I'm shocked that the free throws attempted were 23. I'm utterly shocked that um, North Dakota State, who's a who's a team that took 21 threes, got to the foul line the same amount as we did when our – game plan was was to try to be really aggressive uh in transition and get into the rim so i guess the most shocking thing is 23 to 23 and free throws attempted uh against a team that also took 21 three balls yeah, eric the uh the exhibition at texas didn't go well for a lot of guys but specifically with trevin what was the biggest difference in him in that game and then tonight like what what changed what was different about him yeah, I, t I just think every game, you know, takes on its its own identity. And, I mean, I didn't I, – I, it was no secret. I, I mean, I told everybody that it was going to be eye-opening um, when we went to Texas. And, um, to be honest, it's partially why we scheduled the game because this team needed to see what it's like to play against a Power 5 team that's really, really physical and play a game on the road um, against a team that's probably – a, a top 10 team in the country um, and we're a really young team and I don't know how many years Allen's been in I just know that I remember him when he was at Utah and um, it, it's it's what we needed and I remember Marcus Carr playing at the University of Minnesota I don't know how old they are or whatever I just know that our young team needed to see that um, our guys leave when they still got a lot of eligibility left but but those, those guys are – that's an older crew that we played, and I think that's what we needed. It was a heck of a lot better than playing an exhibition game at home. We got to try to figure out what it's like to travel on the road. And, and uh, hey, we got, our, we got our behinds. I mean, it was, it was a bad loss. But we had really good practices since then. 
Thought he was. I thought he was really, really good offensively. Um, think he's going to have to have more of an impact defensively than he did tonight. I thought Nelson did a good job of attacking and getting into his body. Um, you know, we can't rely on blocking shots. We need to. We need to go vertical a little bit better against guys of equal size. We need to be a little bit more physical. We need to hold our ground in the post. I thought that. Uh, I thought that Morgan hurt us a little bit in the in the first half of. Of uh, we, we just didn't post front like we, like we should, like we drill every day. So our our post front defense um, definitely has to has to get a lot lot better. Also with Brazil, he had uh, 12 rebounds tonight. How pleased were you with that? I know it's been a, an issue with him in the past. And and what's the key to him, you know, getting rebounds like that? Well, Hutch, he's a great range rebounder. He has the ability to rebound outside of his area, which a lot of people don't have. Um, you know, we feel like he's got to do a much better job going to the offensive glass. Um, really impressed with his three-point shooting, though. You know, he's done a really good job um, of getting his feet set. When he's, when he's squared up, he, you know, with the makeup of our roster tonight, you know, he, he might have been, a, you know, might be our biggest three-point threat. Um, and then when people crowd him, he's going to have the ability to beat him off the bounce and draw free throws attempted. So um, I thought he was, you know, I thought he was really effective um, offensively, um, and then we're going to need him, you know, to continue to grow his game on both sides of the ball. I was going to ask a follow up on Nick. Uh, could you give us any details on like when the injury happened and how long you've known that he wasn't going to be available for you tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, he's like like Mike said, and he's he's injured, and and so everything's kind of irrelevant other other than the fact that we got Fordham coming in here, and um, we need to get ready for Fordham and. And uh, the players that are available, we'll we'll do all we can to um, to try to have a, have a good couple days of prep. You said uh, Ricky benefited from being in the starting lineup. Uh, what do you think that was, and um, just what stood out about his play today? What was the last part of that, please? What stood out about Ricky's play today? I thought Ricky was overly aggressive. I thought he, I mean, his energy when he had the ball was phenomenal. Um, I thought he had great bounce off the dribble. Um, thought he attacked the rim really well. He's really, really good mid-range shooter, and his his three-point shot when his feet set. I mean, he can make he can make three balls as well. So teams are going to have to guard him at the three-point line, and if they don't, I mean, I think he was one of two tonight. If 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 you don't guard him at the three-point line, he he's gonna he's gonna have games where he makes two or three threes, and that that opens up the rest of his game, but. Um, I thought he did a, a, a great job of just being really, really aggressive while also not turning the ball over. Coach, Makai Mitchell was there in the starting lineup. Just curious what you thought of his performance tonight. Yeah, I thought he was pretty good. Um, you know, he did a, he did a good job um, with his back to the basket. thought he was really effective when we threw the ball into him. Um, you know, I mean, when you're – when your starting center leads you with steals, you know, he was pretty active with his hands defensively. Got to rebound the ball a little bit better. Our up front guys, you know, Kamani and and, and Makai are two are two starters at, at the four and five at a combined four rebounds. So we've got to we've got to rebound the ball much, much better um, up front than we did with that starting unit. And nothing set in stone. I mean, we we could change the starting lineup again. Um, you know, on, on, on Friday as well. There at the beginning of the game, I think y'all had three steals in like the first two minutes. I'm just curious, was that, you know, by design there to, you know, start super aggressive? Yeah, I mean, I hope that all our teams play super aggressive. Not, I mean, we played super unaggressive our last public outing. Um, so hopefully we, we never see a, a non-aggressive uh, defensive team again. Um, but yeah, I think after after losing the way we did it at Texas in an exhibition game, we probably had to come out overly aggressive for sure. Eric, how do you think Devo played? And I know was, you know Graham didn't play. Was that just a coach's decision, or was he healthy? Or he's healthy. He's real healthy. He's been practicing well, or yeah, it's coach's decision. Oh, okay, and then how, how'd you think uh, Devo? I know had, I know you know like five turnovers. Probably how'd you think he played? I thought he played really good at times, and 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 
sometimes Devo like where, you know, he tried to make two spectacular plays and, and just the simple play will do. He had five turnovers and, um, you know, right now what we need from Devo, we need him to score. We need him to be a scoring combo guard. Um, him and A.B. are both going to have the ball in their hands. Um, you know, but, but the turnovers, when your team only has 11 and, and, and one guy has five, that's got to get cleaned up because he's our most experienced player. And we need our most experienced player uh, to control the game and limit turnovers, which he's perfectly capable of other than when he gets, you know, tries to make the, you know, make something happen out of nothing. So, but I thought, you know, look, we needed his 18 points tonight. Um, we got to have some assists too. I mean, he's, he's, he's too crafty not to, not to get other people uh, a few easy baskets. Yeah, talented Ross, we're not having your go-to guy, Nick. How do you think everybody responded? And how concerned, I mean, are you concerned about his injury? Or are you confident he'll be back, you know, in a reasonable amount of time? I mean, time I'm concerned or? whenever. I'm concerned about a whole bunch of things, Bob. I mean, um, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about A.B. getting banged up. And Brazil's back there, you know, I don't know what he's grabbing or whatever, but he's hurt some way, shape, or form. So, um but we'll be fine. I mean, we just got to next guy up, you know, whoever's healthy on Friday. What do you think about Jordan Walsh? And just what do you feel like you need to see from him going forward and what kind of role he can have on this team? I mean, Jordan's a really talented player. Um, I, I, haven't, I haven't watched the film, obviously. I don't, I don't, I, staying out of foul trouble, um, it's first. I, I don't know how many how many times he fouled on loose balls. I, I I've never, you know, I don't know how to how to help him with that, because um, we needed him tonight to to, to not foul out, um, and so that's got to be an area um, on loose balls of of understanding when he can gamble and when he can't gamble. I thought Jordan our two exhibition games was really really good for us, um, and tonight I thought when he was in the game. You know, he, he provides us um, – he's a really talented young player, you know. And so, we, you know, unfortunately in 18 minutes you just – you can't foul out against North Dakota State in 18 minutes. And, and you've got to understand when to gamble and when not to gamble. But he's a young player who will continue to, to figure that out because um, we were down a player. And, and so we need everybody to um, – understand that we we need we, we need you to be available I know we talk about shooting a lot but did you think that Trevin's three that he hit the first one kind of opened things up for you guys offensively and was a turning point I thought the turning point was the student section being sold out because um, I thought the student section was was awesome and I yes I think that anytime you're at home and and uh, and you make a big three and and the lead is in double digits. I think it can certainly help, you know, create momentum. Um, but yeah, I thought our student section was a player of the game. Did the players already come in here? <laughs>